So I ended up watching the uh, Nike sneakers showcase uh, on the on Thursday, 20, 20th of June, uh, 2024, and uh, they showed some okay uh, stuff really, not uh, anything too exciting in my opinion. And uh, they're all kind of releases that were coming out, I suppose, uh, mid-2024 to early 2025. And uh, there's uh, quite a lot of, uh, I suppose, sort of lifestyle releases that they have. And I've kind of grouped these into one because some of these are, I suppose, hybrid models like football boots, um, you know, running shoes, but now probably considered more lifestyle. And then the first one is... This is uh, using a, I suppose, a football... Uh, shoe upper or soccer shoe upper and uh, the outsole is obviously made for more sort of lifestyle wear so you're not going to get the, the studs or the cleats on there and this came in a sort of green purple gray and white colorway i don't think it's too bad actually this model it looks quite nice and uh, i think with the outsole as well by the looks of it they've done a, a good job on that as well and it, it's not the typical sort of mini studs that you see on other sort of turf style models like the samba which i'm not a fan of and this one's coming out holiday 2024. And then the next one after that is the uh, Air Rift Premium uh, in black and also in red. And this is a holiday 2024 release. I think uh, obviously this what makes this premium is the fact that they're using this sort of black leather, which makes it kind of more shoe like really. I've never had a pair of Air Rifts, so I'll be looking to sort of check these out. But I may just go for the uh, GR version with the, I suppose, that sort of nylon material really and see what they're, they're like. And so for that reason, I've given it this one a three out of five. Maybe not something that I'd pick up, but it's probably more one for the ladies. And then on the back of that, there's also this uh, Air Rift Premium in beige, and, and there's one in brown as well, which is a holiday 2024 as well. Uh, this has obviously got sort of suede materials instead of the leather materials. And this one actually does look nice. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, anything with kind of these sort of beige tans or brown color type shoes. And... Uh, this one, you know, you could sort of see yourself wearing, I suppose, in the sort of summer, sort of spring evenings when you're sort of going out, that kind of thing. They look a bit more sort of elevated with that premium material. But uh, I'll give it a three out of five as well. I think it's okay. It's not like a wowing me, I guess. And then we have the Air, Air Footscape Woven, and that's in the black rainbow. They, they released like this white grey version in rainbow colour. I actually don't mind these. I think they look pretty cool. I think some of the other ones are now on sale. So I'd probably want to pick one of those up because I've never owned a pair of uh, footscapes and it's uh, always interesting to see what these other models are doing. And uh, this one's releasing uh, Holiday 2024 and uh, I'll give this one a 3 out of 5. It's not, again, wowing me um, and it's probably one that I'd you know grab on sale. And then out of left field, because I suppose we're moving to a trend where there's more sort of shoe-like, uh, I suppose, silhouettes that are going to be coming out and going towards that trend, where p people are more interested in, I suppose, shoe, shoe wear. I always find trends a bit strange, really, because on the one hand, you have, you know, this uh, after sort of COVID, post-COVID, you know, this sort of comfort area where a lot of people are wearing Crocs and then also wearing Y2K sneakers, which is, you know, kind of premium comfort. And then uh, part of that, you know, there's been this other wave where, you know, you've had like these Samba gazelles, you know, sort of taken off and, People wearing those and they're kind of shoe like and now we seem to be going towards even more sort of shoes um, which is something that I'm not really that interested in really but this one uh, the Goa Dome uh, premium black it looks cool actually it looks like something that Ye would wear <laughs> but probably not me um, they're a bit sort of chunky a bit big uh, you know makes a statement I guess what I do like about them is like the funky airbag that's around them and uh, it looks kind of like a hybrid model you know with like a, an Air Max Plus sort of mixed into it uh, which is coming out holiday 2024 not something for me because i'm not into shoes anyway so probably give this one a pass but it looks cool i suppose at the same time and then at spring 2025 they're also releasing this another football shoe really this one i'm not that much of a big fan of as far as i remember this one also is uh you know a football shoe and you know or a cleat shoe and uh, it's one of those ones where it's coming out in silver, yellow and black in spring 2025. But it's not something that I would sort of see myself wearing really. It just looks like a really sort of basic shoe. But, you know, if you're into that sort of whole sort of soccer vibe, then this is probably one for you. And, uh, you know, you like your sambas, that kind of stuff. And then we move on to the basketball releases. So there's plenty of uh, Air Force ones. And the first one up 
So here we have the uh, Air Force One Paris, and this comes out in uh, fall 2024. I'd expect it to come out quite soon, actually, in all honesty. And I think this one, you know, if you're an Air Force One person, then this one doesn't look too bad. I actually think the leather looks really sort of premium on this, and I think they're kind of pushing hard on the uh, Paris Olympics theme uh, with their short shoes. And there was also, obviously, there's a Jordan 4 uh, Olympics coming out, and I also think there was a Nike SB Olympics. But... Uh, this one looks cool in the sense that I think the leather looks really premium from what they were showing and it has that sort of patina effect so you kind of have that worn look over time and I also like the colours on this as well, it looks really nice. And then you've got the uh, Air Force One in Vanta Black and this comes out holiday 2024. What I like about this one, I think it has uh, sort of the leather panels being on there, mainly being sort of suede and new buck around the sort of toe guard and the, the heel area. And then on the, uh, I think on the toe box and also on the medial lateral side, it's more sort of sanded sort of leather, I think almost going towards a patent leather. Um, I think it is cool, but again, I'm not really into Air Force Ones that much, but I like the fact that they've taken a, a black version and just given it a bit of a twist. And then you've got the uh, Dunk Low Berlin. So this one actually, you know, I'm not really into sort of standard Dunk Lows really. Uh, not my thing. I think, you know, if I was to choose a Dunk Low, I'd probably just go for the SP version. But I do think this one does look really cool because you have that little mini swoosh and then I also like the uh, in the on the heel area that kind of pat pattern that's going on. I'm not a fan of uh, patent leather in general so uh, for me it's a nice looking sneaker though nonetheless it's, it does look cool. Uh, I just wish it was an SB. And then we have the Air Flight Posit Metallic Gold. This one comes out holiday 2024. When I saw these, I actually think they look really nice. I have seen these, not never in person, but I have seen them obviously online. And uh, they were sort of rumoured to sort of come out. And uh, this is a really cool, futuristic and also sort of sleek looking shoe. So obviously not for everyone, but I kind of like the look of that sort of, uh, you know, where it's sort of hiding laces and it has that sort of shroud. I think it looks quite cool actually, in my opinion. Um, probably not the most comfortable. But I think uh, foam posits aren't that bad to wear, I suppose, in, in my eyes. And uh, this one I check out for. And then the next one we have uh, an Air Force One Escape. This one just looks very mid to me. And uh, it's coming out spring 2025. And it seems to have uh, on the medial and lateral side of the sneaker that it has sort of perforation. So I'm guessing it's probably more breathability. Uh, but it just looks just like a, a standard Air Force One, really. Nothing special. Uh, I'm not sure the hoopla on this. I, I wasn't kind of into trainers at that time. Not not in that way anyway, especially basketball sneakers around the sort of 2011-2012 period. But I know this one holds a, a special place in a lot of people's hearts. And you see Air Foam Posit 1 uh, Galaxy. And this is coming out spring 2025. I think it looks cool, but it's not something that I would actually wear myself. So, uh, you know, if I was to have this or the uh, Flight Posit, I'd probably go for the Flight Posit in all honesty. But it still looks cool, um, but not something for me. I do like the foam posits in general, though. And now we have like the Air Max Plus releases. I think uh, with this one, I was a bit disappointed in all honesty because I was expecting more. But the first one up I, I actually like and probably would check out is the Air Zoom Spiridon OG. Uh, it looks quite cool, actually. I do remember these coming out distinctly uh, back in the day, and uh, it's coming out holiday 2024. And I kind of like the mini swoosh and also the white, red and black colourway, you can't go wrong with that, uh, which looks quite cool. And uh, this one is the Air Waffle Racer SP Green and it comes into sort of a purple colour as well. This one I give a 3 out of 5, I think it, for me it's not one of those ones that I'm sort of that interested in. Uh, I think it's a bit of a sort of Frankenstein look and kind of gives me the uh, Air Force One mid uh, off-white vibes and not too much of a fan of it. It's coming out in holiday 2024. I'm um, also not a fan of the uh, outsole, I uh, obviously love the Air Max Plus midsole, but uh, this kind of hybrid of the two, I just don't think it works for me in all honesty, it's one of those ones where I'd give it a hard pass and also don't like that kind of nylon material on the upper. And then the next up we have the uh, Air Max Plus Swarovski in the Sunset. Uh, Sunset is like the OG colour, one of the OG colourways and it's a classic colourway. I'm hoping they still release the original version of it because that's what was rumoured. Um, I don't know if that means this is replacing that one. I hope not. And uh, this one I, I think it would be hard to get and they didn't reveal the retail price which probably means it's going to be very very high. 
and uh, one for the ladies, I think, probably something that I wouldn't definitely, I wouldn't wear at all, really. Uh, but I am uh, a huge Air Max Plus fan anyway. But uh, for this one, I'd probably wouldn't even bother in all honesty. It's a bit of a three out of five. Uh, this one's coming out holiday 2024. And to accompany that, this one again, I think it's more of a women's shoe as well. But you have like the crystals. It's almost sort of inverse. So with the sort of cage system having the crystals on it instead. Uh, this one, at the two, if I was to pick, you know, I'd probably grab this one. Um, but it's in, in in the black color, which is quite nice. But also, I think it's sort of quite muted and just yeah. It's kind of taking the Air Max Plus vibes, but I'm a bit of an OG head when it comes to Air Max Pluses and just prefer sort of the original models. And then this one, the Air Max TL 2.5, I do remember these coming out uh, a little while ago. I didn't pick them up. And it's something that I would maybe look to grab now. It has the uh, Air Max 97 outsole and midsole. And uh, for me, it, it looks quite cool actually. And, and uh, it's one of those Air Maxes that maybe I'd look to sort of check out but I'm not sure if I would actually you know look to keep and sort of add to the collection but it comes in sort of the, this neon green and then the, the white orange one out of the two I like the white and orange version the best though and then this model's growing on me I never had a pair of Air Max Sunders and I know the sort of normal uh, GR are retroing and uh, that's probably the one that I'd pick up and at the moment I'm kind of veering towards the orange colorway which is normally something that I don't really wear sort of too much loud colors but that's the one that sort of grabbed me really but this one is the Gore-Tex version it's releasing spring 2025 which is a bit odd to to release at that time period I know it's like the rainy season but I would expect it to sort of release autumn winter time being a Gore-Tex but uh, it's still you know cool looking sneaker and uh, they took out the laces on this one and just have it with the um, there's just a shroud only so you've only got the zip action which I don't mind personally I think that's actually uh, much better I'm not really too much of a fan of laces nowadays and uh, obviously the older trainers would have those because they were designed in that way but uh, anything that new comes out I'd prefer it to be laces in my opinion and then this one's coming out in a purple and red colour so I think it's cool and uh, giving it a 4 out of 5 and then the last one on the list is the uh, Air Max Thunder, and this is the Kids of Immigrants, so, so they didn't kind of give a, a date of when this would come out, but I think it sounds like it'd be 2025. So they put their own sort of spin on the uh, Air Max Thunder, where the upper is going to have this almost sort of square grid-like system going on, which I actually think looks really cool. And this was like a, a 3D, uh, I suppose, render or, or 3D print of it, of the shoe, and uh, you didn't actually have the actual proper version of it. But, you know, as a sort of physical product, you can kind of see where they're going with it. I think it will be quite cool, especially if they put some crazy colours on it. Uh, so this one, you know, at the moment, just from the initial mock-up and idea and blueprint, give it a 4 out of 5. But overall, there isn't really too much for me to, to grab, really, in, in all honesty, which is probably a good thing. And uh, I think there's been a lot of nice releases in 2024, and I, in my opinion, also in 2023, like especially around the Air Max OG colourways and that kind of stuff. Um, for me, I probably maybe would look to grab the Flight Closet and maybe the Air Max TLs and, and the Sunders, but that's kind of about it. <laughs> 